what's going on guys let's look at this problem right here here this question is asking describe each of the following a part is asking what is copper loss b part is asking what is eddy current loss and c part is asking what is hysteresis now let's go ahead and explain about copper loss copper loss is nothing but the losses within losses which the losses which are taking place which are taking place taking place in primary and secondary coil resistance in primary and secondary coil resistance resistance are called as copper loss called as copper loss even though coil is made of thin wires having very low resistance even though coil is coil is made of thin coil is made of thin thin wires having very low resistance wires having very low resistance resistance still still there is there is some amount of head dissipation in both primary and secondary coils the copper loss is often referred to as i square r loss okay let's go ahead and write that one as well still there is some there is some amount of head dissipation head dissipation in both primary coil and secondary coils in both primary coils and secondary coils the copper loss is often referred to as i square r loss the copper loss of ten referred to as referred to as i square r loss now let's see what is eddy current losses eddy current loss eddy current loss this b part this one is a part now let's go ahead and continue eddy current loss is basically the transformer magnetic flux generates a current within the core it's called eddy current as this eddy current passes through an iron core the resistance of iron core causes some amount of power dissipation in the form of heat this heat loss is called eddy current loss now let's go ahead and write that one the transformer the transformer magnetic flux magnetic flux generates a current generates a current within the core within the core called eddy current called eddy current as this eddy current passes through an iron core as this eddy current 
passes through an iron core passes through an iron core causes some amount of power dissipation causes some amount of power dissipation in the form of heat in the form of heat this heat loss is called as eddy current loss this heat loss is called as eddy current loss okay now the third part is asking for what is hysteresis now let's go ahead and define now let's uh, le let's say let's explain that hysteresis loss refer to the energy expended to overcome the coarse retentivity retentivity is the ability of a material to retain its magnetic characteristics after magnetizing force has been removed when ac supply is given the input current resources its polarity the polarity of the input current reverses its polarity the polarity of magnetic field must also reverse to do this it must overcome the retentivity of core material okay this that's what we call hysteresis now let's go ahead and write that one also okay here we go c part is asking what is hysteresis hysteresis loss hysteresis loss refers to the energy to the energy expended expended to overcome the course to overcome the course retentivity The coarse, uh, coarse retentivity. The re retentivity is the ability of a materials to retain its magnetic characteristics after magnetizing force has been removed. Retentivity. It is the ability of a material. Is the ability of the material. Of a material. material material to retain its to retain its magnetic characteristics magnetic characteristics characteristics after magnetizing force after magnetizing magnetizing force has been removed removed when ac supplies is given the input current resources when the ac supply is given ac supply is given the input current reverses its polarity the input current reverses its polarity the polarity of the magnetic field must also reverse the polarity of the magnetic field must also reverse magnetic field must also reverse to do this it must overcome the retentivity of core material 
to do this it must overcome it must overcome the retentivity the retentivity of core material and that's the explanation for the hysteresis and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching and if you are trying to learn electromechanical system there are a bunch of videos in my playlist i hope you guys watch that too don't forget to subscribe see you next time